In following the rules for positive exponents, you have to note the operation. In this first case, this topic was covered in the video combining like terms. You must have like terms, that is the same variable and exponent, in order to add or subtract. For example, these are not like terms. You have the same variable but different exponents. So all you could do is repeat what you have. However, over here, we have the same variable and exponent. So this would give us 9x to the fifth. Looking at the next case, we have multiplication. First, I'll look at the long way. 2x to the fifth times 7x to the third can be written out in this manner. This would give us 14x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But rather than the long way, we can use the product rule since we're multiplying. So 2 times 7 gives us 14. And the product rule says we can simply add 5 and 3. So this would give us 14x to the eighth. With our next example, we're raising to a power. First looking at the long way, 2x to the fifth all raised to the third can be written in this manner. If I want to expand on this, So here we would have 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 x to the 5, 10, 15. Or you can use the power rule, which simply says When raising to a power, you multiply exponents. So 2, 1 times 3 is 3. So 2 to the third gives us 8. And then for x, 5 times 3 gives us 15. I want to go over these first three examples because there's a pattern that's very helpful to notice. When you're adding, you keep the exponent. When you're multiplying, you add the exponent. And when you raise to a power, you multiply the exponent. So notice in each case as we get a little more powerful so to speak the operation that we apply to the exponent gets a little more powerful as well. It just sort of lags one step behind. So when you're adding you keep when you're multiplying, you add the exponents. And when you're raising to a power, you multiply the exponents. For the last two examples, we're dividing. We covered this in the video Fractions Simplify. First, I showed the long way. So 24x to the fifth can be shown here, and 6x to the third. So with the 24 and 6, we'll simplify as usual. Divide by 6, divide by 6, 
but with the x's we simply cancel out common factors. And we'll be left with x squared. But as I indicated before, a much faster way, you start out the same, divide by 6, divide by 6, but for these variables and exponents, x to the third is the smaller one, so you cancel out x to the third so long as you subtract 3 from the 5. So this leaves you with 4x squared. Technically it's over 1, but you would simplify it and just write 4x squared. To emphasize, you need to be careful you subtract the smaller from the larger. We'll look at another example over here. Again, 24x to the third can be written like this. 6x to the fifth, right here. We'll cancel common factor of 6. Divide by 6. And now we'll cancel common factor of x, x, and x, but you can see we're left with x squared in the denominator. So the simplified form is 4 over x squared. So to see that play out the short way, divide by 6, divide by 6, x to the third is the smaller one so we cancel this out completely so long as we subtract 3 from 5. Now this leaves us with 4 over x squared. So a fast recap of all the rules when you're adding you keep the exponent. When you're multiplying, you add the exponent. When you're raising to a power, you multiply the exponent. When you're dividing, that's what this bar indicates, you subtract the exponent. So long as you remember to subtract smaller, from larger. In the next video, I'm going to go over these 13 problems if you would like to see how to apply these rules.